Okay, let's work on this one. It's a little bit trickier. So we start with the top, and we need to factor 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. I notice that the beginning term, 4x squared, is a perfect square. I also notice that the last term of 1 is a perfect square. When that's the case, it gives me a good indication of what's going to go in my parentheses in my trial and error. Okay, so I'm factoring first this 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. What I'm going to put in the first slot of each set of parentheses is the square root of this first guy, which is 2x. And once again, since my last term is a perfect square, it's a good indication that I'm going to put its square root, which is 1, in the, first and the, la in, in the last slots of each set of parentheses. Okay, so now I just join them with a plus sign, since we have plus and plus in our original quadratic. Okay, so we'll deal with the denominator in a second. Okay, so now we notice here, looking at this denominator, that we have a common factor among all the terms, and that common factor is x to the first power. So we're going to factor that out. So if we factor an x from 2x cubed, we're left with 2x squared. From the 11x squared, we're left with plus 11x. And finally, if we factor an x from 5x, we're left with a plus 5. Next, we need to work on this quadratic that remains inside these parentheses. Okay, so let's just put down the 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1. And the x from before, this x right here, gets plopped right back down there. And now we need to factor this quadratic of 2x squared plus 11x plus 5. So we'll put our set of parentheses. And now we need to decide what goes inside them. So because my first term is 2x squared here, I'm going to put a 2x and an x in my two slots. Next, since I have a plus here and a plus here, I'm going to put a plus in my slots. Because of this 5, I know that my last, my, the, the product of my last terms need to be 5. Because of the 11x, I know that the outside product plus the inside product needs to be 11x. So I think I'm going to put my 5 there and my 1 there. If we foil this out in our head, we find we have 2x times x, that gives us our 2x squared, plus 10x, plus x, that gives us the 11x that we need, and finally plus 1 times 5 gives us the plus 5 we need. Okay, so 2x plus 1 times x plus 5 is the correct factorization of 2x squared plus 11x plus 5. Now that the top and the bottom are completely factored, we're ready to cancel the common terms, the common factors, I should say. So 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1 is the top. x times 2x plus 1 times x plus 5 is the bottom. So there's one common factor among the top and the bottom, and it's 2x plus 1. So I'll go ahead and cancel that. Because 2x plus 1 divided by 2x plus, is simply, 2x plus 1 is simply 1. Then what I have left is 2x plus 1 in the top. Divided by x times x plus 5 in the bottom. Now I have no common factors among the top and the bottom. So I'm done simplifying that rational expression.